Okay, let, we are doing part three of the Plantor. So, um, let's just start. Not much to say here. Okay, fire Rosalina. Doing the daily pull thing. We got... Oh, trans rights. Okay. 38, Kekin Hole, Suryu, Nuno, Nazi, Celia. Kamek says trans rights. Approved. Pretty basic. Okay. Let's go. Hopefully it's not too echoey this time. I'm making sure the volume isn't too loud. Okay, well, we got immediately fire. Immediate fire power. Let's frickin' scorch these fools. Fortune. Okay. Banana. Oh, okay. Whatever. Ow. Okay. I gotta say, this stone bridge part is arguably the coolest looking part of the track. Otherwise, it's kind of just an okay, you know, run-of-the-mill Bowser course. Nothing really too special about it, other than, I guess, the swirling spire part. And I gotta say, this is one of the more, eh, Bowser Castle tracks. It doesn't feel that special, but I mean, it's still a cool track. Not that there's anything wrong with it, necessarily. Okay, come on. Let, let's keep... frickin' flying around. Okay. Doing some flips here. Ah, oh, gosh. I hate doing tricks on the lamp ramps with the lava flowing, because I can't get the coin. I want that extra piece of combo, you know? Yeah, me too. Not gonna lie. Also, yeah, I agree. The Bowser music in Mario Kart Double Dash is amazing. And they even got a cool remix in, um... DDR Mario Mix. Let's go. Let's see what we got. Launch? No, but... Might as well have them there. Sky Garden. Featuring Monty Mole? I mean... Why not? He's Monty Mole. He doesn't really get his chance. Let's use him. Yeah, sure, why not? Gold Tanuki Parafoil. Speaking of which, is Tanuki Mario even in this game? I didn't really... Wow, you, get, you gotta get the dance pad. Or a dance pad. It, can, it doesn't have to be the same one, I think. Pretty sure there's this random unlicensed one. If, just re if you really want to play the game with a dance pad. There, there's ones that exist. So, oh, I need to get to read all those names. It was too fast. I love Monty Mole. Look at this little guy. Now you feel like Sky Garden kind of fits him somehow too. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? I'm kind of sucking. Let's restart. No, why would they rank Monkey Mole low? <sighs> okay, I can't even talk right now. Why would they rank Monty Mole low? Is it because he's only a um, playable enemy in Mario Kart Tour that's just a common? Because, like, I mean, I kind of get it. He's just a common in this game. He's not too exciting, but, like, he was in real Mario Kart. He'd be hyped. 
Just say, wait, did, did they include Pac-Man on the Mario Kart rankings video? That's an important question. I need the answer to it right now. I'm dying to know if he included Pac-Man and Don Chan and Mamechi from Tamagotchi. You can't just not have the arcade characters. Mario Kart RPG rocks, man. I've played the second and the DX. They're pretty fun. And the second one has Warrior Wear references, so it's incredibly based for that. Let's go. I like seeing the little freaking tail glider flap around. Yo, oh yeah, I forgot Blinky was playable too. Yeah, Don Chen. You got Alco Boy, Sack Sub something worse than J Dub Rebel. So are you. Yes, B, J Jose, ESP, something. Okay. Let's go. Is the audio, um, is the game audio echoing again, by the way, or is that fun this time? Because I don't know. I don't want it to be echoey. I don't know what the problem was with that, but it wasn't good. You know what? Yeah, charge and chuck. You can't go wrong with chuck. Eh, I don't feel like leveling the Captar. Okay, Gold Crane. It's a pretty good one. Yo. Yo, Mechi, Meli, Remus, Renan, Tusem, Nanye, Charlton, Michi, Lin, Ho, Winston. Okay. Let's go. Charge and Chuck in the Cactus car. Do red cactuses even exist in real life? I, I don't really know my my species of cactus, so... I feel like that isn't a thing, but, I mean, maybe it is. Oh, let's go! Charging Chuck, throwing those bananas. He's a madman. Once again, defying all nature of the sport of football. He freaking first he freaking throws he, he freaking throws baseballs, then he kicks soccer balls, then he freaking plays golf, then he freaking like digs dirt for some reason. He doesn't care what sport he's playing. He's still charging chucks. This man and now he's throwing bananas in a go kart. Like look at this man go. Thank you for the free coins. I'm going to keep going now. I know, right? He's so cool. Now, my hair's a little messed up. Didn't notice that. Okay. Lightning's also a little bit crappy. Let's see if I can, like, fix that. No, it's, like, menacing. Man, it's, like, really dark today for some reason. I mean, it isn't particularly, like, nice out, so I guess that's fair, but, like, I don't know. Anyway, also, so, yeah, I still need to play the Luigi one. That game looks fun. Wait, what? Luigi's Mansion game? Is it good? No. How could this be? I mean, I don't know. I never played it, but... It's 
squad goals is to play the original arcade version of Monkey Ball. I don't think there's not any left in the country, so that'd be probably kind of hard. Okay, we got a ring race. Ah, I see. The classic gamer stance. It's not... I don't like the game because I'm not good at it. Kappa. Bro, look at those penguins. They're just marching along. They're not even moving. They're just marching in place. Go, Mario. Okay, I mean, simple, but I like seeing the cute penguins. Why don't they just make those guys playable? I mean, you can see them riding bikes in Mario Party 8. They're, they're clearly capable of things. That Mario Party mini Marty, Mario Party 8 mini game with everyone in bikes should be like the future template for all Mario Kart games. Like they have freaking Thwomp, Womp in a car. They have freaking Piantas. Or, or, or Piantas, as I call them. I don't know if it's Pianta or Pianta. I always called them Pianta for some reason. But I don't actually know. I know some other people call them Piantas, which is like fair. I mean, I don't know the actual pronunciation. I'm not the person that made the game. Yeah, the banana joystick looks funny. Okay, free poll time. Featuring random Chinooki Mario, because why not? Oh crap, wait. Gotta pull the screen up. Baby Luigi. Land ship. It's not much, but it's kind of neat, I guess. Yeah, it's cool raccoon Mario. Oh yeah, I should buy stuff, maybe. Getting those rubies. Okay, let's do... Oh, crap. Forgot to unfreeze the screen. That's okay, though. Because we're using Dr. Bowser. What does that have to do with anything? I don't know. Yeah, I agree, even though Mario 3 is really good. For me, it's like Sonic 2 and Sonic 3, like... Sonic 2 is clearly a really good game, but like, I don't know, I like Sonic 3 a lot. The only thing I really noticed with Sonic 3 after playing it consecutively with the other games that I didn't really think about was that there wasn't really as much random momentum based areas where you can just like roll down and have fun. Which I mean, the game doesn't really need those, but I like, I like when the game does that because it's like a nice breather. You just gotta get, you just hold down Sonic on the controls pad and then just watch him go crazy with the physics. Like, that was a fun thing to play around with in the other classic games. I don't know why it's not prevalent in 3, but, I mean, it's kind of a thing. Just a different design choice. And, you know, Sonic doesn't really need those to be fun, but... It's a cool way to, you know, break up the level.
Dr. Bowser is moving right now. Bad esprit. Somehow I think he is trying to swear. Good job, Bowser. Honestly, Sonic 3. But that's only because I'm more of a 2D Sonic guy than I am a 2D Mario guy. Like, like I love the 3D. I, I would say, for me, the 3D Mario games are better than the 3D Sonic games overall. But the 2D Sonic games are honestly better than the 3D Mario games. At least to me. I mean, I don't really have as much a strong attachment to 2D Mario, so I'm a little more in favor of 2D Sonic because I've played those games so much, but like, I don't know, they're just more fun for me, personally. Like, for me, Mario and Sonic are like even because, you know, I like 3D Mario a lot, and I like 2D Sonic a lot, so it's kind of like a balance of both of them. And Mario gets the better spin-offs usually, but some Sonic spin-offs can be pretty cool. Yeah, I don't know. Sonic, 2D and Sonic games are just really fun for me, so I don't know. Okay. Man, why is it so dark today? I need to get better lighting eventually. We'll have to ask you about it. Oh gosh, the screens look the wrong way. It's really dark today. I mean, I guess the lighting isn't bad though. This could be a little bit better. I might do another stream after Mario Kart today, but I don't know if you're busy or not, so... Crazy track. By the way, since I know you like cats a lot, I uh, I'm just gonna randomly bring this up, but I recommend the newest episode of AVGN. It's basically the cat episode. He reviews some random Wii game. It's like Nintendo dogs, but cats and really bad and funny. Capo. Definitely. Sonic Adventure is better than Super Mario Sunshine. No at me.
Although it's hard, hard for me to say that Mario 64 is not, you know, does, I mean, to say Sonic Adventure is better than Mario 64, just like, I don't know if I'd be telling the truth by, you know, if I really thought that Sonic Adventure is better, because I don't know, actually. That's a good question. As much as I like flinging through levels with Sonic, I don't think they're as well... I mean... Sonic is more linear, so naturally it's not... You know, gonna be as depth as Mario 64, but like... I don't know. Mario 64 levels are compact, and they got like a lot to, you know, find, and they're cool. So, I feel like Mario 64 might be better, just... I mean, if you care about those kind of details, anyway. Not to say that Sonic Adventure isn't well crafted either, though, because it still has a lot of details that I don't notice sometimes. Yo, look at this blockhead. Come on, Charge and Chuck. Sometimes I just really focus on the game and don't say a lot, which is, you know, which is cool. You gotta focus on those combos, man. Yeah, I would agree, personally. Nice. Would you be down for a stream after this, by the way? Oh, nice. Land 15,000 hits with bananas. see about it. I don't know how long the next stream will be after I finish Mario Kart, but we'll see. Okay. Oh, it's a time trial. Wait. I mean, I could just use the mushroom right at the start. I like how they put baby Luigi in the ghost course. They know he will be scared. The poor little child. Oh, 
I like Baby Luigi, he's funny. I mean, honestly, yeah, even though Sonic Spinball is harder, I would say it's a better game than Mario Pinball Land. Also, I haven't played it, but Sonic Pinball Party is also probably definitely better than so Mario Pinball Land. I hear Mario Pinball Land is like one of the worst Mario games, actually. Never played it, but I can definitely kind of see it. Mario Pinball Land's the best game. Gamer Bear. Coda Young something. Mimi5412. Okay, well, whatever. Okay, let's go Metal Mario. Flying in space. With some fireballs. Okay, somehow I was able to sustain that combo. Fly through the asteroid field, let's go! Oh, I can't take advantage of that guy's coins, because he is in the air. Oh, yo. Okay, whatever. I had a frenzy, so falling down off the track doesn't matter. One of the rare instances you can fall down on this game, actually. It doesn't really happen. Okay, swan him out of the air. Bruh, go away, random survey. I am racing here. No, the combo is dead. Well, it was still pretty good. For me, the worst Mario game I played is probably Mario Tennis Open. Not that it's a bad game, it just was incredibly plain for Mario Tennis. Like, Mario Tennis should be exciting. I mean, tennis isn't the most exactly exciting sport, but like the other Mario Tennis games made it like crazy. Like, you had all these cool things. Okay, let's go free running Copa in Vanilla Lake. Eat my shorts. Funny Bart Simpson reference. Okay. This penguin card looks kind of uncanny. I'm just checking my camera, by the way. Banana time! Let's go! This stuff is bananas! B A N A N A S. Okay, wow, that Koop I love the Koopa's animations. He's just like doing like break dancing and flipping. It's 
Seeing the character trick animations is one of my favorite things in this game. Dang, I wasn't able to get that fast enough. But hey, I got the boom box, I guess. It's not called that, but, you know, it's, it's a boom box. Okay. Let's go. Let's see what the last race has. Or, am I on the last cop? I already forgot. Oh, it's already 129. Okay. Yeah, we got two more races. Hey, yo. That's new. I don't have that. Finally, the daily selects are giving something cool. I'll get that Ice Mario later, too. I mean, I do use Ice Mario quite a bit, actually. For a high, de for a high end, I see him quite often. So I wouldn't mind leveling him up. Yeah, let's go Roy Cooper, I guess. And the off-roader with not Dragon Wings. That's just Buzz Lightyear's jetpack glider. Okay, we got no oh, from Beth. <laughs> Moonvel for Eva something Leo Fix for two Megu Flemo three one one zero. I wouldn't want I wouldn't want your name to be Flemo personally because that sounds like Flem and that's gross. But I mean, you do you, man. I don't know, maybe Flemo is an actual name. It's kind of gross, man. Okay. Roy Coop is doing his cool tricks. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Mario work here. Does that imply that Mario just mass produces his own world? I don't know. I mean, he has a toy company. Anything is possible. Anything is impossible with that guy. He's an entrepreneur. I mean, he has like so many jobs. He can be a doctor, a toy, you know, CEO, all at the same time. most flexible life I've ever seen. Okay. Wow, 59 coins. That's crazy. Okay, let's do our big reverse race. First, we'll do this, though. Guess some coins. Okay, who are you using? I guess Fire Rosa and Lena again, apparently. 
I am forklift certified, even though this is not a forklift. I am forklift certified! Okay, let's frickin' go. Can she beat them? I don't know. We'll find out, I guess. She's missing all the item boxes, so that's not a really good outlook right now. Come on. I gotta catch up. You know what though, honestly, Sewer Speedway from Crash Team Racing is a better pipe sewer track. Because that is a cool track. Aha! We shortcut it. Let's go. Let's go, we get to have the gold pipe. Let's see what we got. Of course we got Fire Rosalina, she's used a lot in the tour. We got King Boo, Dr. Bowser, Ice Mario, Kamek, Pink, Dr. Mario, Charge and Chuck. Yeah, he was a lot in this tour too. Okay, let's see what we got. Let's pull this thing. With the plant amiibo, because why not? I know it won't give me plant, but... Oh, I mean, that's neat, I guess. Why not? Okay, now let's pull plant for real. I'm confident in my plant skills. Eh, what's this one? Ah, oh, an item from the tear shop. I mean... I can just buy some cheap thing. It doesn't really matter. There. Let's pull for some PD. Okay, let's pull. Boom. Boom. That's okay. Where's the skip button? Ah, oh, are you kidding me? Am I gonna be cursed again? Oh, bro, the frickin'... Okay, well, that wasn't the gold pipe yet, so I'm actually kind of hopeful. Because I could get Petey if it's giving me that pipe card. Right? Keep on pulling. Ah. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna cry. I will cry. 
Let's get Peeny in the chat, boys. Where, where, where's that Peeny? Where, where's that Peeny? Come on, man. Oh, okay. This is it. This is my moment. This is my chance. Probably. Unless it wants to troll me and get me another pipe card or something. Is that my high end? I got a freaking wild wing. I got Peachette. Oh, oh, crap. My game disconnected. Well, um, that was not hopeful. <laughs> Hold up a sec. I mean, I don't need to put the game back on, I guess. But, like, that was, that was pretty sad. Dang, I really wanted Peeny. I'm sad. I'm sad, man. Okay, well, I guess that's pretty much it for Mario Kart. So, for all you Mario Kart fans, take care. I'm going to be streaming some other game, like, right after this, probably, but... Um, yeah, have yourselves a good one. And take care. GG's, everyone.